heard a story once that Neil Young used to get a whole lot of Fender Deluxe amps and then would just go line them all up, plug them all in, go and kick each speaker in and then plug into them and go, yep, that one I'll use. Which, you know, with those kind of guitar sounds, I can I definitely believe that story. Last night it was cool at the pool hall. Hell, the people for 11 games. Nothing was easy. Well, as a Neil Young fan, I think Live Rust kind of is the record that encapsulates almost everything that Neil Young does so amazingly. It's got the beautiful, tender, sweet moments, and it's also got the really gnarly, wild, completely unapologetic guitar stuff that just, when I first heard, you know, changed my life really, at what fuzz could mean and what um, sort of sounds you can get out of the guitar. <laughs> I really love the, the guitar on Hey Hey My My because it is the, it's the classic octave fuzz sound. It's the, it's the riff that when it kicks in, everybody knows it. And it's a pretty simple song, but it's such a, an adventurous guitar sound with the most discordant chug in it. I've been trying to figure out what, how to make that guitar sound well, forever really, and I've found different combinations of things that have worked, but depending on what amp you're using, what guitar you're using, you know, the pedals react completely differently. And I've, I've even kind of gone down the rabbit hole of nerd websites of actually dissecting what made that guitar sound. probably would turn some people off, but something about the way Neil Young does stuff, it doesn't turn people off because the song is relatable and fun and it just is visceral. Actually, that's the other thing about Neil Young, the whammy bar is such a huge feature of his thing. Some, some songs just sound like they're being strangled out of the guitar. It's pretty thrilling to watch. I saw him at the big day out and the end of the show was just like whammy bar till every string broke. I think I was like had pins and needles and goosebumps and I had the sweats all at the same time. The problem is that when you start using the whammy bar live and you're starting doing your Neil Young stuff, like all the bending and stuff, it just, you know, you're like... And e as equally as um, impressive as his heavy riffs are the kind of mellow, I love the Harvest Moon riff, it's sort of equally as recognisable and just something that makes me feel relaxed the moment I hear it. You know. It's great to be part of these come together shows because it's sort of a chance for a lot of friends and actually people I didn't know um, that I've always known about or wanted to meet and play music with um, coming together. I realised in the first day that we all rehearsed for it that everyone was as passionate as each other about Neil Young and about these songs and it really made for a pretty magical energy in the room and transcended what it is to do a tribute show you know, a, a genuine and passionate representation of these songs. I think that that sort of guitar, you know, that sort of wild guitar sound, that level of distortion and gnarled, brutal guitar thing inspired people for years and still does, and it certainly has been a big part of my, um, you know, made, made me the guitar player I am amongst other things. <laughs> 